Hello everyone. Today I will be doing a tutorial on the plugin Pro UHC. To start off, you have to make your server, of course. Um, today I will be running on Spigot 1.7 through 1.8. Um, that one. You have to install, of course, Pro HC. Because I am using the uh, 1. Point, a 1.7 server, I am using the 1.7 Pro UHC jar. You, if you are using a 1.7 server, you also will need to use the 1.7 jar. But if you're using a Spigot 1.8 server, you, you have to use the 1.8 jar. They both come in the zip file um, where you can download it on Spigot. I'd also recommend World Edit to um, edit the world um, and Multiverse Core 2.5 to get around the place during setup. Okay, so once you get those installed, you start up your server. Well, we can first shut it down and edit the configs. The first config you want to edit is the world edit config, and the reason is because the default wand item is a wooden axe. The problem with that is the item that all the players are given in addition to stake is a wooden axe and that conflicts when you're trying to cut down wood. So uh, go to the config um, and change it to right here. Change it from item 345 to 336. Save that. Also note I'd recommend running on a server with at least a gigabyte. Preferably at least two especially if you have a lot of players because everyone's teleported at once that creates a lot of um, RAM usage and in addition to that you'll have several worlds and of course several worlds results in more RAM usage. Start up the server and once it's started up it doesn't take long just join it um, you need to create the world lobby. Uh, looks like that feature has changed. MV create lobby normal. MVTP lobby. In this world, you are not allowed to break a thing. That's good because the players can't, but unfortunately that requires all administrators to use WorldEdit to change blocks. The developer is planning on adding a permission that allows administrators to break blocks. Okay, so now that that's created, um, let's make a lobby. So that's not changed properly. Okay. A lobby. That's eh. Okay, then do UHC set lobby. Next, you join um, you create a world called deathmatch and we create deathmatch normal mvtp death For the quickness of this tutorial, I will just be making the a random part of the world be the uh, deathmatch arena. Of course, you can uh, build whatever you want in here and uh, edit it to fit your likings. Paste a lo lobby, for example. I'm going to make a boundary around the place using world edit. I'd recommend making this area completely unescapable for those that have 
Ender Pearls. If they can get Ender Pearls in game, I don't know. So I'm just going to make a top to the place. Do forward slash UHC set death match MV import UHC normal MVTP UHC. So this is the UHC world. Also, one more important thing. You need to go into the files, uh, go to the multiverse settings, multiverse core config, I think, yeah, um, and make so that the default world is uh, lobby. And that should be it. Stop, your, restart your server. And it generates the world on, on stop. Regenerates the world on stop, as you can see here. Um, yeah. Okay, I have a second Minecraft open up. Now that you set that up, you should spawn right in the lobby you set. I'd definitely make it prettier, though. So should the second player. Okay, that worked. Okay, so now that we both joined, I'm, we're both going to pick a team. I'll pick the yellow team. And the other player I'm using, uh, let's say the green team. And I'll start the game. Okay, it now teleported um, and scattered us. So I'm in this annoying deep ocean, which seemed to, seem to be the default thing that it always seems to teleport us to, which is also why I'd recommend installing the um, plugin called uh, Biome Swap. It will replace all ocean, if you set it to, with forest, for example. I'll show you an example of the preferred config. So as you can see, um, Okay, this guy's dying. Uh, well, uh, that <laughs> annoying. Uh, now, as you can see, now that the other person has died due to suffocating, uh, player one has won. Um, but they get scattered. Teams get teams get teleported together, uh, and if you want. To, and you get players get an option to join a team on join using the golden apple. And yeah, I'll, now I'll show you the example of biome swap. So um, yeah, biome swap config. So swaps ocean with forest, frozen ocean with plains, deep ocean with forest, ice mountains with forest, and ice plains with plains. That will make the game a lot better. When the game ends and there are several teams left, you will end up with everyone being teleported to the spawn location to die. Yeah, the death match is to prevent campers. But it's currently non-configurable. It happens after an hour. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, bye.